Happy New Year, everyone. I hope 2024 treats us a lot better than what 2023 provided for us. And amongst a lot of the things that happened over the course of 2023, one of the big topics that came about, at least in terms of YouTube, TikTok, and all that stuff, were pranksters and how a lot of pranksters were getting their just desserts. And you would think that TikTok pranksters would probably, hopefully, potentially die out for this coming year. But I'm here to remind you that time is a construct created by man just so that way we could put time to paper for working hours. Because even though we are in the new year, there is a new TikTok prankster that is trying to break ground that is doing so in a very poor way. Now I understand that me giving exposure to these kinds of people could potentially make them have even more exposure and have more people lean towards that kind of content, but I'm at the moment a significantly smaller channel, so I like to feel that maybe what I do might not be as big as an impact, and if it ends up being so, then you can blame me for it, but I'm just here to point and laugh and make sure that everybody else knows to point and laugh at people like this because they're not the kind of people that most don't want around. So I'm not going to beat around the bush any longer. This channel is an all or is anal. I'm not entirely sure how their name is going to be pronounced. Uh, is a TikTok prankster. Obviously, you can see he has his TikTok profile with a couple of videos. And then also has some YouTube shorts as well that are a little bit different than one on his TikTok channel. And a couple of other YouTube videos uh, on his main channel. Two. Now, as you can see, there's a variety of these things, right? He has different videos on his YouTube channel, on his TikTok channel, and a couple mixed bag stuff in between where he pulls clips from his YouTube uh, videos and makes them into shorts or TikToks. So what makes him a cringe TikTok prankster? Well, there's really two marks that make somebody a cringe TikTok prankster, and I think he hits both. First, is that he's just an overall nuisance to the public, and a lot of his videos really showcase that. Oh, daddy. Daddy, daddy. Quick, quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my. Daddy. It's very painful. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, bro. I'm not trying to do this on purpose. I'm just... And then the second is his pranks are not funny. <laughs> like, they're embarrassingly funny, but that's not a laughter in the sense of like, haha, like, oh, good joke. It's laughter as in like, haha, why are you doing this? And you can tell that there's some level of cringe to this in some of his videos because he breaks personal barriers, right? He just goes up to people, asks them a couple questions like he's doing some weird interview kind of thing. And we'll go into it later because his most recent one is a lot stranger. But he'll go up to people and essentially start touching the back of their head or their neck, sort of like caressing it, maybe even slapping it a couple times. And the people you can see are clearly off. Now, whether if this is staged or not is beyond me, but if we're going to take it at face value, they're genuinely not pleased with that kind of thing. Nowadays, I'm sure t people are probably used to seeing others with a camera being walked around and recorded and all that, whether if they like it or not, that's an unfortunate reality of the world. But when you start touching them in places that are sensitive, like the back of your head or your neck, they're not going to necessarily like that. And then that'll result in them probably lashing out at you. And then that leads to the most recent thing that just came out, which is of him out in the street bothering a couple, asking uh, if the girl is single, and then essentially degrading the man that she's with, which ends up resulting in the guy approaching him and essentially slapping him across the face. And then he gets another smack back at him too, but then he walks away from the scenario, the girl gets in between, and then the guy just keeps saying, what are you gonna do about it? Like, come on, square up. Excuse me? Uh, are you single by any chance? Uh, she looks single, you fucking... Oh shit, you guys together? You look like a bit of a cuck, so I'm just wondering, bro. You know? Sorry? What did you say? I said you look like a bit of a cuck, are you? Are you? 
Stop. You slapped me? Uh, Come back here, up. little bitch. Why are you walking back away up. for? Huh? Why are you walking away for? Why are you walking away for? Back Come up. back. Uh, back Come off. back. Why are you walking back away for? Off. Why are you walking away back for? Off. Come back. Let's talk. You wanted to talk? Let's talk. Ah, yes. The good old kick a man while his back is turned after he just slapped you across the face and then just stood there menacing like the tall gentleman that he is. Clearly, this guy, this prankster, if you would call him, has the cojones, uh, the manliness to wait until the man turns around just to give him one last kick in the ass. Such a good man. Oh my gosh. Honorable. By all means. Get out of here, bitch. And then he continues to insult him after being smacked across the face by calling him a cuck and a bunch of other profanities, essentially. But what makes it worse is he has another prank that's on his TikTok channel. Not on his YouTube channel, on his TikTok channel in particular, where he goes into a movie theater uh, and he decides to start yelling that there's a fire in the theater and everybody needs to get out. <laughs> There's a fire in the building. I need everyone to head out right now. There's a fire in the building. Please, as soon as possible, as soon as head out right now. Everybody's coming out. Oh, shit! <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Let's go, let's go. There's a crazy fire happening right now. Guys, quick, quick, quick. I wanted to say quickly while I was editing this that I feel like almost every prank channel or TikTok has to have the camera guy briefly put it on him really quick just so that way he can get his minor bit of clout like hey man like this dude isn't just the star of the show like do you have some love and support for your cameraman <laughs> look at me i'm fucking goofy and all that crap uh, it, it, it's a common trope that they have to do this and it, it just it adds the cherry on top to the to the entire scenario going on hey jump 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 let's go fuck Hey, come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's go. Quicker. All right, guys. I'm so sorry. You all just got pranked right now. I'm so sorry. You all just got pranked. I'm sorry. You all just got pranked. I'm sorry. I just pranked the shit out of you. And you could see in the video, people are clearly panicked, right? It f they feel like their lives are in danger because there's a fire in the building, or at least assumingly there's a fire in the building because one man ran in and frantically started screaming that there is one. Again, this is not funny. To all these people, it's probably scary. Do you think if you went up to them and said, haha, this is a joke, that they're going to start laughing? Be like... You might as well have put a gun to the back of their head and said, give me all your money. And then once they forked it all up after crying, then you're like, ha -ha, uh, jokes on you. Uh, this is a fake gun. Uh, here's your money back. Do you think that's going to solve any of the issues? You think that's going to make people want to think that you are a funny man? You're not, dude. Like you're clearly just doing this to try and drum up some views. And thankfully he is small enough at the moment where he's not getting a lot of push from this i mean a lot of people on some of this stuff like in his channel saying like why is this guy still in the street he should just be removed <laughs> i mean why is a type of person like this still out there it beats me but again this goes with the fact that he probably doesn't have a lot of notoriety and it does show on his tiktok that he has a kick that he goes live on every day that kick is gone you can't even find it on the wayback machine at least from what i can tell he might be going under a different name but you can't find it but his tiktok is there his youtube is there so there's some semblance of knowing who this guy is enough to where we can try and stray away from giving these kinds of people the notoriety that they think they deserve now I'm here to say, and I don't want to put a plug in, but I'm going to do it anyway. Why subscribe to people like this, right? Subscribe to people like me. I'm sobering, <laughs> right? I show you the crap that is here, at least from what I can tell that this is crap. And I feel like people like this are not alcohol where it's socially acceptable and you can have a few drinks and go over and get drunk about it this kind of content is more like heroin 
right? It might feel good, but it's definitely bad for you. This is not healthy content, and it's unfortunate that people follow this kind of stuff. Views in this sense could mean anything, right? I viewed his content, but that doesn't mean that I'm a fan of it. I'm viewing it to showcase to the public about this kind of crap, right? And I'm here to tell you, don't follow this kind of crap. And whether if he is going to continue being a nuisance is beyond me, but I'm just here to say that if you thought that this kind of crap was ever going to go away in the new year, well, we're starting off strong in that case because we've already got a guy who is running around in the streets of Australia deciding to be a nuisance. And if in any of the situations where people have lashed out back at him hasn't taught him a lesson, well, unfortunately, he may just have to learn the hard way about his antics. And I hope that it doesn't happen to him. I hope he learns uh, soon enough. And maybe the reason why his, you can't find his kick is because he's taken it down and maybe he's in the process of it. Who knows? I don't. But this is the kind of crap that exists on the internet and unfortunately it poisons the mind of people. And like I said, I'm here to just expose it to you guys to make sure that you know the dangers of the internet. And granted, this kind of crap should just not exist especially the fire stuff like the, when it comes to like making pranks about actual like disaster kind of stuff that could potentially harm the lives of people it's not funny it is dangerous it is scary and could potentially put other people's life at risk not funny not cool this guy will get what he deserves one day if he doesn't learn his lesson right now but that's it pretty much from me. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video. It lets me know that you guys like this kind of content. Leave a comment down below. If you know of any other small YouTube channels or TikTokers that do kind of stuff like this, let me know about it because I like doing a little dive into the crap every now and then because it reminds me about my life and where I sit uh, with it. So that's pretty much it for me. I'll catch all of y'all later. Peace.